When presented with a situation, such as being asked to find the derivative of 2x squared times 3x plus 1 to the fourth power, we have to realize that this is a situation where the product rule should be applied. We have a factor of 2x squared and a factor of 3x plus 1 to the fourth power. So I'm going to use the product rule to find this derivative. However, it's worth noting that the second factor will require the chain rule. The second factor, 3x plus 1 to the fourth power, will require the chain rule. A derivative using the product rule is going to be the first factor unchanged times the derivative of the second factor plus the second factor unchanged times the derivative of the first factor. So there will be two terms in this derivative. Each term will have two factors. And the, the first factor of the first term is the first factor unchanged. So we have 2x squared unchanged times the derivative of the second factor times the derivative of 3x plus 1 to the fourth power. This is a quantity to a power. We're going to use the chain rule to find the derivative of 3x plus 1 to the fourth. We'll bring the 4 to the front times 3x plus 1 to the third power. But then we have to multiply by the derivative of 3x plus 1, which is 3. The second term from the product rule is the second factor unchanged, the 3x plus 1 to the fourth power unchanged, times the derivative of the first factor, times the derivative of 2x squared, which is 4x. <clears throat> Cleaning things up a little bit, 2x squared times 4 times 3 is 24x squared times 3x plus 1 to the third power plus 4x times 3x plus 1 to the fourth power. Now between these two terms, I can identify some common factors. Between 24 and 4, there's a common factor of 4. Between x squared and x, there's a common factor of x. And these quantities are also a, a, a common factor. Here's the quantity to the third power, and that same 3x plus 1 quantity to the fourth power. I can factor 3x plus 1 to the third power out to the front. Between the two identical quantities, the lower power is a 3, so that's what I'm going to factor out to the front. Now what I'm left with, the two terms inside the grouping symbol, after I take the common factor out to the front, is, well, I started out with 24 in the first term, but I factored out a 4, which means I'm, I'll be left with a factor of 6. I'll be left with a factor of 6. So not 8, a factor of 6. I had x squared, but I factored out a factor of x, so I'm left with x to the first power. Now, originally in the first term, I had 3x plus 1 to the third, but that's exactly what I factored out to the front, so I won't rewrite that inside of the grouping symbol. Plus, the second term originally had a 4x, but that's exactly what was factored out to the front. The second term also had this quantity to the fourth power. I factored that quantity to the third power out to the front, so I'll be left with that quantity to the first power inside the grouping symbol. Now, because that quantity is raised to the first power, I can drop the parentheses and combine like terms with the 6x, which means I'll write my final answer as 4x times 3x plus 1 to the third power times, and I'll, because there won't be any more parentheses inside of the brackets that I had uh, wrote on the previous step, I'll write this as parentheses. 6x plus 3x plus 1 is 9x plus 1. My final answer, 4x times 3x plus 1 to the third times 9x plus 1.